Hello all. In this video, we will see how to enable port C pins of ADMEGA 16 for I.O. operation. By default, uh, four of the port C pins are uh, enabled for JTAG and is not available for I.O. To enable for uh, this as uh, I.O. pins, let us connect eight LEDs to port C pins. All uh, cathodes are connected to ground through resistors. Open the programmer's notepad of WinAVIA and type in this code. Uh, include AVR IO.H and uh, delay.h. Both are uh, pre processed dir directives and then starts the main function. Under the main function, we declare port C as output that is DDRC equal to hex FF. All port C pins are uh, declared as output. 1 means output and 0 means uh, input in the AVR. Now starts the while indefinite loop and inside the loop we make the port C pins high. All pins are uh, made high. That is internal pull up is enabled and all outputs are uh, all port C pins are made high. And after a delay all port C pins are made low. Now to save this file with the uh, .c extension inside the folder you created earlier. Don't forget the .c extension. Save the file. Now uh, we'll make the make file. Open the uh, make m file under WinAVIA. Select MCU type as ADMEGA16 and port as uh, USB. Programmer must be USB ASP but it is not in the list. So select any one on the list and then enable editing. Change it to USB ASP. Scroll up to locate the target. Change the main to your C, uh, .c file name. You need not use .c extension here just the file name and then save it in the same folder of the uh, C file. Now under tools click make all. Now the hex file is generated. Tools program will upload the hex file onto the 80 mega 16 IC. Now the code is uploaded. You can see uh, four of the port C pins not blinking. That is uh, by default it is uh, for uh, allotted for JTAG. We have to disable JTAG and then only it will be available for I.O. To disable JTAG open CMD and then uh, type in AVR dude. This AVR dude is installed by default along with win AVR. Type in AVR dude hyphen P that is the processor M16 we are using 80 mega 16 and then hyphen C USB ASP and then hyphen T for interactive enable now the AVR uh, device is initialized and uh, ready to accept instructions let us read the fuses D space L fuse will read the uh, low fuse low fuse by default is E1 we need not change it now read the H fuse D hi, uh, space H fuse H fuse is uh, hex 99 we have to change this if you check up the H fuse bits bit 6 is JTAG enabled if you make it as 1 unprogrammed then it will become 0xc9 that will disable the JTAG to, uh, to make it as uh, C9 uh, use this AVR dude uh, code W space H fuse space 0 space 0 X C 9 it is 0 and not O now the H fuse is changed to C 9 and the JTAG is uh, disabled you can check uh, you can read the H fuse now it has uh, become C 9 now under tools you upload the pro code click on program now the code is uploaded. You can see all the port C pins are enabled for I.O. 
JK, JTAG is disabled and it is available for input output operation. And a code also you can change it. MCU CSR register. If you make the JTD bit uh, shift it to one, then it'll uh, disable. You have to do it twice, but it is not uh, reliable. You can also use avrpal.net to read the fuse and then change it. This GUI interface program is easy to handle. Just click on uh, read fuses and then change the fuse to H fuse to from 0x99 to C9 and then click on write fuses. Thank you for watching.